Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Anvil Vault Breakers. Anvil is a top-down roguelike action shooter, which can be played online co-op and supports cross-platform on Steam and Xbox. In it, you'll explore alien galaxies and find vaults that contain the energy to defeat monsters and power up your breakers, which are these things here. Speaking of which, outside of battle, you'll be able to switch between the 12 different breakers, each of which have their own skills and weapon types. I've played a few rounds of the game with my buddy Toku, and we absolutely destroyed. I actually really loved the guillotine breaker, which was more melee focused. Killing enemies and destroying breakables in each level will give you cash, which you can use to buy upgrades for your breaker at little kiosks sprinkled throughout each area. With all the upgrades I bought, I became a nearly unkillable giant hammer-wielding tank. It was cool. Anvil releases content in seasons, which are three months long. The latest update in January added in new difficulty levels, allowing players to choose from easy to extreme difficulties. The new season starts in March and adds in a new play mode, Journey, and a new Breaker. So if this sounds like fun to you, then click on my link in the description below. The game is currently available in early access on Steam and on Xbox Game Pass. Now on to the video! Before you start complaining in the comments, yes I know Luke is technically the player in this and he talks in cutscenes and such, but the character within the game that Luke is playing doesn't. It's complicated. None of the characters in the game have a voice, and that's a shame. So I'm gonna fix it. <sighs> the hell... where am I? Oh, uh... hello there. Nice. Eyeballs. Ah! Another challenger. It has been ages. It certainly has. So long, in fact, that I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> perhaps you've forgotten how this game is played. <laughs> yeah, there's no perhaps about it. Allow me to remind you. Just so long as it doesn't involve smacking me over the head with anything. I'm already having memory problems. Play the squirrel card. All right, squirrel, stoat, wolf, um, just take this and put it, uh, here? Now play your stoat. What the hell is a stoat? Is it like a fancy weasel? Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Wow, I'm glad getting new pets doesn't work this way. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Sorry, Mittens, but this new dog cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Now by combat, does that mean you're gonna smack me over the head or... Yeah, get him, stoat! Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Is that a tooth? You win if you tip my side all the way down. Yeah, that's great. Whose tooth is that exactly? Yeah. Like this. You need to have someone look at your hand. You seem to have a skin problem. Should probably also get someone to look at your eyes while you're at it. I don't think squiggly is normal. My turn. Bring it on. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. That seems like it would normally be a pretty unfair fight. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. In real life, he would have just bit it in half, but I'll take it. That means your stoat's health is too less. Well, thanks, I failed basic math, so that's helpful. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. Fun. When do I get to roll for initiative, and what are my stats? It's your turn again. We'll talk about it later, I guess. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Well, uh, all I have are wolves, so I guess I need to draw a squirrel. How dull. Hey, I didn't make the rules, you jerk. Okay, play the squirrel. There we go. And now I should be able to play the wolf. The wolf demands two sacrifices. Alrighty. Sorry, stoat and squirrel. Huh? Hey, stop! The f***? Did he talk to me? Fear not. The beast is sacrificed, but not removed from your deck. So I killed him and he's now stuck in a place between life and death? Pretty sure that's worse. Its suffering was real, but you will see it again. Not helping! Ooh, did I do it? You've won this match. Damn right I did. 
They won't all be so easy. As long as I don't have to kill any more sentient playing cards, I think we'll be okay. Guess we're done with that. Let me recall your story. Ooh, backstory time! Oh yes. You were lost deep in the forest. Is this drawing from real life? Because that happened once. My Boy Scout troop and I resorted to- Almost resorted to cannibalism. <laughs> A single path revealed itself. Aw, oh, no dice. Okay. Doop -a doop Do I draw a card now? Two denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. Come on, blue eyes, white dragon. No. The caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Eh, I guess the snake is kinda cool. What else we got? The undying cat. Sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. So just like in real life. <laughs> Only one may grace your paltry deck. Don't see the need for the insult, but all right, I'll take the kitty. Another creature joins your caravan. Yeah, I've got a regular arc going on. You come across an abandoned sack. <laughs> I've got jokes for that, but I'll keep them to myself. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. And I thought people who put ships in bottles were weird. And have a second. Hey, what's weirder than one squirrel in a bottle? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Those are pliers with blood on them. Three is as much as you can carry. Yeah, that's great. Whose blood is that? You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. Some stumps and boulders count as rough? Maybe if I have weak ankles and am prone to splinters. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. Uh, yeah, of, of course, my turn. <laughs> Definitely not distracted by anything. <laughs> you may now see my moves ahead of time. Yeah, that's great. Get in there, buddy. Here we go. Oh, shut up, you'll be fine. Okay, I lied. Well, seriously? Can't believe I did that again. He is gonna be seriously pissed. Uh, sorry, squirrel. But you were probably gonna be sacrificed anyway, and at least this way a wolf gets to eat, right? It's the circle of life of cards. Yeah, got him. I would still love to know whose teeth those are. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Just like my Boy Scout troop. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. Okay, I rolled the dice to see if I can run away. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice. One that will be lost forever. Wow, this really is turning into my Boy Scout trip. Let's see, uh... I'll get rid of the cat. You looked <laughs> upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. Uh, okay. I guess I choose the stoat. What an honor. Is that sarcasm? You told me to pick you! A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the cat now lives in the stoat. Not sure who I feel more sorry for, the cat or the stoat. Yeah, in your f face? All right, I got this. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. I think he heard you. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. <laughs> Sounds like why all Mac's girlfriends kept me around. <laughs> uh, no, I think he said all these things would add weight to the scale, right? Behold, the rule book. You will place a weight on the scales. The pain is temporary. Huh? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Wait, what the? <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> you may yet survive this ordeal. Not worth it! Ah, my dentist is gonna be pissed. Ah, oh, that better be the worst pain I have today. Knock on wood. Ah, oh, you suck. Let's do this. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> Don't worry, I wasn't listening to that stoat. You and I are pals, man. We go way back. Remember that time I ripped my own tooth out? <laughs> that was great, right? Ah, uh, memories. Oh, crap. That's not good. Really not good. You've lost. Yeah, but that's not a big deal, right? We just start over, maybe go back before the previous battle? Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. 
learning opportunity. You threw a bunch of giant bears on the board. What was I supposed to do? Pick up the cards and rip them in half? Oh, I guess I could have done that. Get up. In what sense? Get up from the table. Oh, gotcha. Need something to eat or drink? I'll hit up the fridge. Or maybe go across the street to the convenience store where there are other people? <laughs> Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Okay, but if you eat it, I'm out of here. What do we got here? Uh, wait, was there a hand there a second ago? I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Nailed it. Ooh, cool miniatures, man. Though they could use some paint. Yes, maybe I can stab him in the eye or... Come on! Come on! Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna put out a scandal. <laughs> yeah. My bad. I was just playing. Okay, I got it. Bring it here. Right here? Now sit back down. Yeesh, pushy. I'm back. Let me explain something to you. Listening? You wanna explain how fire works? That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. What was? Losing? Playing with your stuff? Ripping out my own tooth? Because that one was definitely a mistake. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Whoa! Damn, dude! Sacrifice? Pump the brakes! That seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? Now, where were we? Uh, I think we were talking about playing a different game. You got checkers? Oh, now what? You came across a small group of survivors. Oh, cool. Are those the village people? Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They could try cannibalism, just saying. Not that I've ever tried it, or anything. <laughs> they looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Unless they've already tried it and they're planning on eating me. I did not think this through, did I? Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Only one, rude. Warm it by the fire. That will enhance its power, said another. Enhance its power, cook it alive, potato potato. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. I know it! They're gonna cook my animals! Stay away! Well, that's a new symbol. What's this one? That's different. Whose skull is that? The trees seem to close in around you as a chill mist descended. Damn, loving the atmosphere, man. A plus for commitment. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. I can! That's awesome! Is there a speaker in here? A hobbled figure stood in your path. Dad? Yeah. Yeehaw! Twas the prospector. F*** me! That's terrifying! Stop it! Jeez, where'd you get the mask? He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. Oh, sure. Easy, boss. You sound like an internet troll, you stupid fancy weasel. Uh, how about here? This spot? You sure? Don't question me! I should've let the village people eat you! Ha! Gotcha! In your stupid face, you weird toothed hillbilly! I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. I most certainly did. Seriously, whose skull is that? There's gold in them cards! There is? Then why the hell are we still playing? Let's go sell these suckers and retire! What? What? Oh, come on! G -g gold I struck gold No, but you killed all my cards, cheater. Boom! That's game! How do you like me now? Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Damn straight you won't, thank you very much. Wait, yet? You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. Really? It wasn't that hard. What kind of players did you have in here before? Toddlers? <laughs> it, you didn't. You didn't though, right? With the sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carried onwards. Where to now, squiggly eyes? Hmm. I see you weren't very prepared for this, were ya? Guess I am the first one to do this in a while. The rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Do you mean in the game or in here? Hey <laughs> uh, Please don't pull out any more of my teeth. Bamalema, ding dong! Damn, that is a lot of teeth. Ugh. How brutal of you. Says the guy who threatened to kill me for losing. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. <laughs> yeah, I did. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. In what way? Because your rewards and punishments seem to be a bit extreme. To be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. Man, I'm gonna be chock full of teeth! 
My dentist is going to be so happy. The Trapper may be interested in your spoils. He deals in teeth. This world's monetary system is f***ed up. That thing is creepy. Would be great in a rave, though. It's me. It is indeed. Alright, I'll put you here. Okay. Stop criticizing my game, man! I will sacrifice you! bip de boop What's this one? You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. Gross. Oh wait, this is the tooth guy, right? Sweet, I've got a mouthful for him. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Why? What is he wearing? Please say something! Where do you keep getting these masks? Care to look at me pelts? Hopefully not human pelts, right? Eh, I think I'm good. Y you're leaving already? Well, I mean, I already have a pelt on me. Not sure I need more. Please consider me pelts! Okay, yeesh, pushy salesman. Ooh, the village people are back. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. Good to see y'all again. There's room for a creature around the fire, one said. Uh-huh. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. Uh-huh. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. You aren't eating any of my animals, except maybe the stoat. He's kind of a dick. No way. Then quit telling me how to play, you deck seat driver. You really have a lot of props. You encountered a small outpost in the woods, tended by a mysterious woman. And who is this woman? Does she have any Mountain Dew? Because I'm thirsty. It was the traitor that that old trapper had mentioned. Oh, the one that deals in pelts. Teeth and skin. I repeat, this world's monetary system is f***ed. Her appearance was unsettling, but you were mollified by her offerings. Ooh, did someone find his thesaurus? Do you mind if I examine those pelts of yours? I do. I like my skin right where it is. Thank you very much. All right, boss battle time. Hey, what the hell? My boss battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. High stakes? That's an understatement. It's just my life. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Thanks, man. Nothing like a little impending death to help with your decision making. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. Oh, death and emphysema. You really are just the bestest of friends. <sighs> Who do we got this time? A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Are we talking about in here or in the game? <laughs> I know I've made that joke before, but seriously, take a shower. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. Hi. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. That's okay, no need to get up. I'm the angler. Go fish. Oh, go fish. Can we play that instead? Oh, oh, nice ambiance. Oh, I hate fish. Uh, what's with the hook? Can you just back it up a bit? Mine now. Go fish. Well, that hardly seems fair. I don't get a cool little hook thing. Okay, that should be more than enough. One down. What you gonna do? Ah, what the f Too fast. Too soon. What the hell was that? What did you do? Holy sh! that's a lot of bears. Uh, this seems a bit stacked in your favor. Protect me, mole. Meddlesome mole. He's just a mole. No need to kill him or me. Oh boy, that's not good. So, you want to play Go Fish now? Do you have any, uh, mercy? Huh, Go Fish. Well, crap. Uh, am I... am I dead? Yeah. You aren't dead yet. Oh, thank god. Wait, yet? This isn't purgatory, though you may think of it that way. I'd rather not. It smells like rotten fish. That'd be hard to stand for eternity. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. Oh, geez, yes. I'll gladly do my murderer a favor. What is it? I would like a memento. You already have my teeth and skin. What else do you want? Your very own death card. Okay, sure. Why not? I'd love to be immortalized in my least favorite game. I never did ask your name. Yeah, and I never got yours either. Mine's Luke and yours is... There is now but one final matter. 
to give me your name and perhaps not kill me because we're such good friends that we know each other's names. Maybe we can go to a park or another heavily populated area. <laughs> the portrait. Nah, damn it, I tried. Whoa, that is an old camera. Are you ready? Actually, if you could let me go clean up, maybe run home, put on some makeup, get some different clothes, put some of my teeth back in. You do not need to smile. Wasn't planning on it. What the... again? Here we go again. Well, shit. Okay. One more. Uh, 